Guy Verhofstadt has stirred up Twitter yet again with his latest anti-Brexit jibe, with several users suggesting the MEP was fixated by the issue. Meanwhile others likewise questioned why he was worrying about the UK more than four years after the referendum result. Mr Verhofstadt is a frequent contributor to social media, where he is vocal on the subject of the UK's decision to leave the bloc, and his most recent post on the subject highlights the front page story of the Financial Times headline, Businesses Face £7 Billion a Year Red Tape Bill in Gove Border Plan. In reference to Vote Leave's famous claim, made during the referendum campaign, that leaving the EU would enable the UK to spend £350 million a week on the NHS, Mr Verhofstadt comments, I don't remember seeing this on the side of a bus however, many Brexiteers were unimpressed. One said, you just can't stay away can you? While another simply asked, still sore guy. It just takes member nations' economies and throws them under it. I know which I'd rather have. Referring to the process by which the UK opted to stay a member of what was then known as the common market, Mike Gallagher said, when I voted to remain in 1975, I didn't see commissions, presidents, flags, anthems, euro, Schengen, the EU, or your deranged dreams of empire but I saw them come about anyway. And I had to wait 41 years to get another vote on it. Why are you worrying about the UK? We've left. Keith Grimley asked, what happened to the long-established principle of not interfering in domestic politics thinking face it's really not a good look and since it only polarizes opinion, it makes you look foolish, more like a petty bureaucrat than a would-be statesman seeking to unite a continent. Pygmy. Bradley Mock added, give it up guy, the UK is leaving. Why do you keep harping on about it? No, not everyone is happy to be going but this is democracy in action. Concentrate your efforts on making the EU somewhere that the UK would have wanted to remain.